Hey everyone, Jason here for Campaign Sauce Digital Marketing. Thank you so much for coming in to check out our short video on how to validate your domain reputation using Google Postmaster Tools. Okay, so if you are a business owner, you have an email list, and you're updating your clients by sending them a newsletter, you're doing campaigns to them, you're letting them know what's happening in your business, special sales and promotions, you do not want to be listed as a spammer, right? So, of course, Everyone wants really good placement in the inbox. Everyone wants to stay out of the promotion tab, right? So this is one of the tools that you can use that's going to help you a lot. Again, it's a super great tool, very, very easy to set up. And again, it's called Google Postmaster Tools. All right, now the question is, who is this really for? If I only just send out a few emails a week, is this really for me? No, not so much. If you are doing pretty good volume of sending, so I think the cutoff is somewhere around 5,000 emails, maybe even 5,000 uh, per day, I think might be what Google's average is. For my clients, Anyone who's going to get close to having an email list of, of 5,000 people, we're definitely going to make sure that you're on Google Postmaster Tools and make sure that we're validating your domain. So the big deal is if you are using a platform like MailChimp, right? So again, you put all of your subscribers in here, you send them a campaign, you're definitely going to want to use this. People using tools like Constant Contact, people who are using HubSpot, the marketing side of HubSpot, again, the part where you're sending out the email marketing. And likewise, for those of you who are Salesforce fans, if you're using Pardot uh, to send out your emails and in the e-commerce world, you know, using tools like Klaviyo to send out messages, yeah, you probably want to go ahead and at least check out where your domain stands right now. So whenever you Google Postmaster Tools, you're going to be brought to a screen like this that says Get Started. They're going to give you some really easy directions on how you can validate your domain with the tool itself. And then you're going to start getting data after a while. For example, one of my clients, this is their screen capture here for the user reported spam rate. Now, again, this is just tracking Google. You're not going to see if somebody who, who has a Hotmail email address and they report you as spam, well, of course, you're not going to see it here. You're just going to see the information that's reported back to Google. So anyways, you can see here as we go across the days, I have a couple spam complaint rates. We're getting a list cleaned up there. Again, we're not looking at you know super high uh, complaint rates here. But again, it's something that we want to track and we want to take a look at. And this is what Google is looking at saying, OK, what you know, how, how, how legit are you as a sender? So there's another report that we go into called domain reputation. And for me, this one's pretty important. So with domain reputation, if you look there at the top, you're going to see a really thin blue line going across there where it says hi. And if you zoom in on that, so uh, we, again, you know, kind of zoomed in on this. And, and for this one, this was high for us. OK, so that's good. So you, again, it's a blue line. It's consistent. It's solid. This is a really big deal. We want to make sure that we have a high reputation rate inside of Google. All right. And the next one that I really like is the authenticated traffic. Now, for those of you who don't know what DKIM or SPIF or DMARC is, you can work with somebody like me to help get this set up. But these are the kind of records that are set up in the background that tells Google, hey, we're legit. We're not a spammer. Whenever something is sent from your MailChimp or sent from your Klaviyo account or sent from HubSpot, Technically, that email is tracking through the world with another domain on it. It's traveling through with a HubSpot domain or you know, whatever tool you use to send it. So there's this system of checks that ends up happening in the background there that allows Google to say, oh, OK, even though this came from HubSpot and it's really from you, HubSpot's allowed to send on your behalf or uh, campaign, uh, sorry, um, MailChimp is allowed to send on your behalf. OK, so that's part of what DKIM and Spiff and DMARC all all uh, work through. And again, if you zoom in on this, you're going to see that we have a really high success right here, right? 100% all the way across the board. And that's exactly the way you want it. So if you want me to help you validate your domain and make sure that you are not becoming listed as a spammer, go way over there towards the right hand side, the lower right hand corner. Look for the chat window on my site. You can connect with me there. And hey, if you're not looking at this on YouTube right now, go over to our YouTube channel. We have tons of great tutorials like this to make sure that your marketing efforts are making the most of bang for your buck. And you can always reach out to me at my email at jason at campaignsauce.com. Thanks so much, everyone. Appreciate you watching. Hope you have a great day.